Hey, what's up, everybody? Happy Halloween! Halloween is one of those great holidays where everyone gets together and celebrates the spooky. We did it last year talking about our top 10 ghosts. And this year, since there happens to be a certain pocket monster game coming out in a month, we are going to be talking about our top 10 ghost Pokemon. Sun and Moon introduced us to a bunch of new ghost type Pokemon, but one of the best is Palisand. Because, I mean, Ground Ghost is a really cool type. And it doesn't really look that threatening, but it definitely is. Yeah. Palisand, uh, like, he starts out as Sandy Gas. Sandy Gas yeah. has this shovel in his head, and apparently, if you touch it, he then gains control over you, so he forces you to build up his body thus making him more powerful. And Palisand's Pokédex entry is just so creepy, because it talks about like how the remains of people have been found under them, and <laughs> yeah. he like, steals their souls or something people after eating them or something. Palisand is super creepy and just one of the better ghost types. Sticking with Pokemon Sun and Moon, one of the poster Pokemon for that game was just an amazing ghost type. Lunala is this cool bat with this weird like galaxy looking thing inside of its yeah. wings. And it's just, it's great. It's psychic ghost, really, really powerful typing. Not too much can stop that. Gets some amazing moves and it gets a little extra bonus points for just being one of the most like meaningful legendaries because you see it like evolve throughout the game because it's just Nebby that has to get yeah. in the bag throughout the game and then it just evolves into that disc and then turns into a bat. And I mean Lunala is just one of those Pokemon that is just awesome. There's It has a great design, great typing, great attack and what more could you want? Probably the least spooky ghost on this list is Aegislash. He is just this amazing possessed sword and shield Pokemon that is Steel Ghost. Again, yet another awesome typing. He has, as he should, amazing defense. He also has really good attack thanks to his stance change ability. Because if he's attacking, he's using the sword. If he's defending, he's using the shield. And he even has his own special move called King Shield, which is basically protect on steroids, making Aegislash one of the more powerful Pokemon, so much so that he is banned from most Pokemon tournaments, and for good reason. Next up is Marowak. We're mainly talking about the Alolan variety today, but also want to put in there that Marowak is technically the first ghost you see in the franchise. In Pokemon Red and Blue, in Lavender Town, with the Sylph Scope, you see a ghostly Marowak, which was one of the Cubone's mother. Super sad part of the game. But then when you move to Alola, all these Cubone apparently die when they evolve, and they become <laughs> the fire ghost, Marowak. Which is an amazing typing. Oh, Fire I, and Ghost. I love that Marowak so much. Yeah. yeah, it's got a stick with uh, blue or green flames or whatever on it, and it spins it around in that dance mini game. And that was pretty <laughs> fun. Of all the Alolan forms in that game, this one is my favorite. Just got really cool looking. I'm a sucker for fire types. I love fire types, and Ghost isn't my favorite, but this one works for me. One of the most unique Pokemon on this list is Shedinja. Mostly because of how you get it. You have to have an opening in your party when you evolve in the Ninkata. And you just, the Shed Skin comes to life and it's a Shedinja. And it's awesome. Like, Wonder Guard is one of my favorite abilities because if it's not super effective, it won't hit. Ever. Yeah. Shedinja and, has 1 HP, so yeah, unfortunately kinda. for him, his typing kind of makes it not the best ability even though it is because he's oh yeah it's, it's like super, super weak to a lot but he's got something about him that's just awesome and 
in my opinion, one of the scariest looking Pokemon is Trevenant. Like, that thing is just a fierce looking ghost. Starts out as a cute little stump child ghost thing. Yeah. Phantom. Phantom is adorable. Such a and sad it's, origin. I know, it's yeah. one of the worst ones because it's just like a kid that got lost in the woods and died. Yeah. But then it comes back as a ghost and evolves into Trevenant, this just unlimited beast of ghost and grass type. This next one is probably the scariest on this list. Because he is the literal Pokemon devil. <laughs> the ghost dragon himself, the king of the distortion world, Giratina. He was so bad that Arceus banished him to the distortion world just to keep him from wrecking everything. Not to mention, he's probably one of the coolest looking Pokemon anyway. Yeah, he's just a big ass centipede dragon. If a Pokemon trainer ever finds themselves in the distortion world, they'd best just find their way out because they do not want to mess with Giratina. There's not a lot that's creepier than just absolute mystery. And Mimikyu is an absolute mystery because we don't know what he looks like. Uh, the only He's... guy that ever looked died of sickness. Yes. Yeah. Like it's just some shadow evil something that decided I want to look cute so I'm going to make a Pikachu costume. He just wanted and... to be loved. <laughs> and he saw how much everybody loved Pikachu so it just decided to dress up as Pikachu. And I would and it, have to say it worked, because Yeah, Mimikyu, everybody loves Mimikyu. Yeah, the world fell in love with him. I think it was a lot to do with his personality, though. Yeah, this little ghost fairy just captured everybody's heart because it's so cute and creepy at the same time. Can you tell if we love Sun and Moon yet? <laughs> Keeping with it, here is the one and only starter in any Pokemon game ha has been gifted with the type of ghost. Decidui, you knew it was coming. He's one of the best ghost types Pokemon with grass and ghost. He's an owl. He's an archer. He can do anything. He's got an amazing Z move and there's not much negative about Decidui. He looks great. Has really good stats actually. And he's a ghost. Now we're finally here. The number one specter. The ghost with the most. The apparition above all. The wraith that won. Gengar. Oh, come on. It had to be Gengar. It's we're original. old, and yeah. he's the original ghost. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Yeah. I mean, the whole Ghastly family is just awesome. Oh, yeah. Ghastly looks like a little formless specter. Haunter looks like, I don't know, generic cartoon ghost of some sort. He's got floaty hands, a big old tongue, he's creepy. But the final evolution, Gengar, is definitely the most powerful. He looks like a disembodied ghost Clefable, which makes him another level of creepy because of the fan theories and such. And he hangs out in your shadow and kills you sometimes. And not to mention the pure nightmare fuel that was his super move in Poke and Tournament. Oh, goodness. Yes. Plus, Gengar gets extra cool points for one, having a Mega Evolution, and two, for that Mega Evolution being super freaking creepy. Well, those are just some of the reasons that Gengar is our number one ghost-type Pokemon. The creepiness, the gigantic smile, and the murderous intent are all what makes for a good ghost. Hey, thanks for watching. Did you like the video? Why don't you hit that like and subscribe button? It really helps us grow the channel. And don't forget to ring that bell to join our notification squad. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I put the links in the description just to make it easier for you to get to. And we will catch you next time for the next video from the Bro Trio.